I'm going to talk about 12 scientific principles about how babies learn language skills. Each one of these, on its own, improves language learning. If you do all of them, then, uh, according to research, you should help the child's overall language skills, their receptive language skills, their expressive or talking, and their overall cognition, as well as their reading scores. So, the first scientific principle that I want to talk about is how to maximize the window of opportunity for learning language. There's a, a window where it's easier to learn language skills. That's generally defined as from about birth, although it actually starts a little bit before birth, until about age four. During this time, it's very easy to learn language skills at a high level, and it gets more difficult to learn at a high level later in life. It doesn't mean you can't learn language skills later, later in life. It just means it's harder to learn at a high level as the child gets older. So it's very important to focus on the early years in life. There's research showing that the number of new brain connections related to language learning is actually peaking just before 11 months of age. So if you look at the blue graph, you'll see to the far left, that's before birth, then you see zero, which is at birth, and you see the blue graph jumping up very quickly and peaking before 11 months of age, and then dropping off very rapidly. By the time the child is five years old, the child has only a a small fraction of the number of new brain connections related to language learning as when they were a young baby. So please focus on the early years. Another principle that I want you to understand is about early brain development. About 25% of the mass of the brain is, is formed by birth. And by age two, about 75% of the mass of the brain is formed and about 90% of the brain is developed by age five. What I highly recommend to parents is that you spend about 75% of all of the energy you're going to do toward your child's early learning in the first two years of life and about 90% of the focus on your child's education. If you do that while their brain is developing very rapidly, then you will get a greater return on all of your time and investment in, in your child's learning. If you do what is traditional in Western societies, then you will wait until the child is about five before focusing on learning and then you send the child to school. But at that time, about 90% of their brain is already developed and it's difficult to have a large impact in how their brain is forming. This is because of something called neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the ability of the brain to change or modify. All of our brains are changing as we learn new information. But with babies, the changes are happening very rapidly and they're very easily happening where the changes in the brain are happening uh, every time you're playing with your baby. There are new connections that are forming in your baby's brain that are having an impact on your child's brain development. So if while you're playing with your baby, you're doing learning activities, you can help your baby learn during the time when it has a greater impact on brain development. And if you help your child to read during this time when their brain is developing very rapidly, there's a much greater chance that their brains will develop more efficiently for reading than if you wait until most of their brains are developed and then you start teaching reading skills. This is what most people are currently doing.